Hi guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you guys can see by the title, I am going to be doing another Get Ready With Me. I am so excited for today's video. Today's Get Ready With Me is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be as long as my normal Get Ready With Me's and that is because I am not doing a full beat glam. I am going to be doing something simple a little bit more every day. Um, so it's going to be a quicker video, quicker get ready with me. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy today's video and let's get started. I just put these two black hair clips in my hair to get my hair out of my face. I actually just took a shower before. I normally take showers at night, but I completely forgot to wash my hair last night. I don't know how that went over my head. So I desperately needed to wash my hair this morning. So I took an afternoon shower, washed my hair, put some product in it, and now it is currently drying. So while my hair is out of my face and kind of drying at the moment, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with some foundation. Now, because I am not doing a full beat glam today and I'm doing just an everyday makeup look, I'm not gonna go heavy on the foundation. I'm actually gonna go kind of heavy on the concealer. Now, the last time I filmed a video and sat down was on Halloween, or I'm sorry, the day of my Halloween party, so last Saturday, and I have not filmed a video since that day. If you guys watched my Halloween Get Ready With Me, then you know it was a pretty long video. I talked to you guys about a lot of different things, and I wanted to give an update, so I am finally better. I am no longer sick, I have my voice back, and I don't have a cough anymore I feel a hundred percent better basically in that video I had some issues with my tonsils I lost my voice I had this really bad cough and I was a mess and so since then I feel way be way way better I don't even know if I want to share this on here just because it's so bad but actually the day of my Halloween party let's just say I had a little bit too much to drink and it's funny, well it's actually not funny because it was probably the worst I've ever felt in my entire life. I am not a big drinker. If you guys have been following me for a while then you probably could gather that. I'm not a party girl, never have been, never will be. It's not really my vibe. I definitely do love to go out um, but I'd rather go out to like a restaurant or go skiing or like, I don't know, do random things. I don't necessarily, my first thought isn't necessarily, oh, let's get drunk, like let's go to a club. But I have gone to clubs, obviously. I actually, my favorite club is this uh, gay club that is by me and my best friend and I love to go to. And I absolutely love it there. The vibes are like amazing. And so if I'm gonna go to a club, it'll typically be that kind of club. So so all that to say, I'm not a big drinker, I'm not a party person, um, but for my Halloween party, obviously I was drinking. I was not planning on getting plastered, that was not the goal, and I don't know what happened. I think it was because I was at my own house and I was just having a little too much fun that I drank way too much. And that's the thing, I normally do not drink like that whatsoever. I've only ever gotten really badly drunk once in my entire life out of all of the times that I've ever drank. And this was the most recent time would be the second and it was definitely like the worst ever. It was so, so, so bad. I've never felt like the way that I felt that day, I've never felt ever. I literally contemplated going to the hospital the next day because of how bad it was. After my party, I was supposed to, you know, do my makeup again, film some more videos, but because I was so sick, I literally could not do that. And so here I am instead filming some videos today. So that is why I am doing my makeup. I'm literally just filming today's video. I'm gonna film a girl chat or a boy chat. Um, and then I might be going to the mall. My best friend wanted to go to the mall yesterday. So I called him, he didn't answer me, but I'll see if we're still doing that. Um, if he doesn't answer me, I actually might just go to the mall anyways, just because I need to get some things or I don't need to get some things but I would like to get some things. I also need to go to Ulta because I need to return something 
and I also need to go to the store and pick up a present. So I do have some errands today, so I'm not just doing my makeup. Just for some videos and pictures, I do have some errands to do. So I guess I'll find out a little bit later <laughs> if I end up going to the mall or not. But if I don't go to the mall, I still do need to go to the stores. I really want to have like a sunburnt type look. I'm going to do my brows, my eyes, and that's about it. I saw this picture. I'm always getting so much of my inspiration online. I know social media is very toxic, but I love it just because I've worked really hard on myself and I've done a lot of you know, self-care and just like inner work um, to build up the confidence that I have today that I no longer go on social media and try and find girls that are prettier than me and like be upset about it because don't get me wrong, I most definitely used to do that. I definitely was that girl that would scroll on Instagram and you know, go in a loop, you go to just check on one person's profile and then you go in this you know, circle and you're in this loophole and suddenly you're staring at all these pretty girls and you're like, oh my God, why don't I look like that? And I used to do that. I feel like everybody has done that in their life. If you've never done that, you're probably lying. Um, but yeah, so that definitely used to be me. And now I don't use social media like that. I actually, whenever um, I see girls that I think are beautiful, I'll save their photos and I'll want to like recreate it. And so I saw this girl, she posted such a stunning picture. She wasn't even like anybody famous, just like a random person that popped up on my For You page. And she had this beautiful makeup look on. She was literally glowing. Like she really packed on the blush and the bronzer. And I saved the photo because I was like, oh my God, I love her makeup. And it inspired me today to do my makeup similar to her. Because I, as much as I love blush, I don't go heavy the way that she did. And so I was like, you know what, let me try something different. And so I use social media like that now. I didn't always used to use it like that. I think that once you do work on yourself and you start to love yourself and you know, you're always going to have days where you're insecure or, you know, bad days, everybody does. But to come to this point, especially for myself, says a lot and I'm really proud of myself. I can go, you know, more in depth in like other videos and talk about it. Um, but yeah, so I just thought that I would share that. I actually have um, a fake account. I think I've talked about this before. I have a fake account where I follow uh, influencers on. I don't like to follow them on my personal account just because I like to keep my personal account for family and friends only. I do follow like a few other random people, but it might be like a store or, you know, something like that. I just like to keep my Instagram personal for family and friends. Um, it doesn't mean I don't want to follow you. It's just like if I don't know you, I'm not going to follow you. And so I have a fake Instagram account that I use to follow influencers on. And I basically go on there to seek inspiration. So I'll save pictures of outfits that I really like and want to recreate or pictures of different makeup looks or like aesthetically pleasing photos and I'm like oh that's so cute I want to redo that that is what I use my Instagram for and all my friends know it like it's not like a secret account like if you are close to me then you know I have it <laughs> but that's literally what I use it for I like to just keep it separated um so I have like my personal Instagram my family and friends um and then I have my fake account with you know celebrities and influencers that way it's separated and I don't like see a bunch of influencer stuff on my personal account and then I don't see my friends pictures. Oh, I just got so much powder in my eye. Wow. Okay. I'm sure there will come a day where I'll delete it um, and I'll just follow everybody on my main account. But for now, it's just separated. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to let this bake for a little bit. I'm going to apply some bronzer actually to my eyelids. I always used to do this. And then I stopped, so I'm going to take a brush and just pack some of that bronzer on my lids just to give them a bit of color. I always need to do eyeshadow on my lids because for some reason they literally get so oily. Now that I'm done baking, I'm going to go in with some pressed powder. Actually, while I'm at Sephora, I should probably get like powder. I don't have any powder. This is literally what I use from these two palettes and they're in my kidding pan and they're also very, very old. So I should probably get some powder 
at Ulta while I'm out. I'm so bad with buying makeup. Like I'll always get makeup if I run out of something, but it like depends what it is. Like obviously concealer I'll get, mascara I'll get, foundation I'll get. But when it comes to like other stuff, well I usually rarely ever run out just cause I have more of like other stuff like, you know, eyeshadow and um, blush, but I'm just so bad with makeup just cause like I only ever get like what I need. I don't have like a huge makeup collection. I used to collect makeup. I feel like everybody used to do that. I wasn't like one of those people that had like the drawers and drawers and drawers of makeup, but I most definitely did have a good amount. And it was just so wasteful and so useless because I didn't need that much makeup. I mean, unless you're like a makeup artist or like you do makeup as a hobby or you know, something like that. I just dropped my blush. Then you don't really need that much makeup. Um, and so basically I got rid of everything that was old or expired or that I didn't use anymore. Anything that was good that I just didn't want. I don't buy makeup like that unless I absolutely need it because I just don't want to be wasteful. And I think it's actually really smart and, you know, also saves some money. But I'm going to really pack on the blush today because, like I said, I want to look like I'm sunburnt. So I'm going to kind of go crazy with it and apply it everywhere. Okay, so I just did my eyebrows and my mascara off camera. I did apply a little bit more blush and now I'm going to do my lips. So for my lips today, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to take a different lip liner, which is from Milani and I'm going to lightly line my lips. I'm not going to go too crazy just because this is a darker color. Okay, I just lined my bottom lip. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the top. Alrighty, now that my lips are lined, I'm actually going to do some lip gloss today because why not? So I'm going to take this one from Lancome. This is a juicy tube and I just picked a random color. So let's, oh, whoa, that is way too much. Okay. Oh, it smells really good. Okay, and there we have it. And this is the outfit that I'm wearing today. If you guys are interested in any of the pieces that I'm wearing, then I will, of course, have it all linked down below. So first things first, I'm wearing a shapewear piece. Yes, this is actually shapewear. This is from Amazon. It's from a company called Joy Shaper. It is short, as you can see. It's not long or anything like that. And it is spaghetti strap. I actually really like it because not only is it shape and it's sucking me in but it also is not see-through so you can actually wear it as like an actual piece you can even throw leggings over this a jacket over it put something underneath this so it works various different ways I'm wearing it as an actual clothing piece so I will link this if you guys are interested and then this jacket is actually from my cheer team so it was made from my cheer team you can't like get it anywhere um <laughs> I just threw on this big oversized black jacket and then we have my my purse from H&M. This is a crossbody silver purse. I love it so much. I typically don't love silver, but I actually really like it with this outfit. Even though my jewelry is gold, it actually matches because I have a silver G. So my jewelry, so this piece right here is from a company called Etika. I will link it down below. It is a stunning chain linked necklace. And then this one is from Fraser Sterling. This is their custom charm necklace. So I have a, cr a cloud, an Aries logo, and then the letter G. This is all customizable. So I did the first initial of my name and then my zodiac sign. So I will link both of these down below. And then I have my socks, which are from Shein, and then my boots, which are black Uggs. So I've had those for a long time as well. That is my entire outfit um, for today. Again, everything will be linked in the description box. Okay, you guys, that is the end of this Get Ready With Me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, I just wanted to come on here and do a quick everyday makeup look and show you guys how I would get ready for a normal day to do some errands. I really wanted to sit down, give you guys a quick update, and finally post a video. I know I'm a day late. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys liked my makeup, my outfit, and I will see you in my next video. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below what you thought about it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you guys, and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye!